This past fall, we made an early morning visit to a pre-futurity work at the Slate River Ranch. What the pre-work does for them is you work them for two to three days in a row. And I feel every time you do that, when you come home, they're a little more mature and a little further advanced. Now we come to these pre-works, get these horses away, see some other cattle, get them away from home. It's really important. It's really important to take them away from home. That's the most important part. That's, you know, just to see different stuff, work different cattle, different situations, just to mature them. No matter how well they work at home, you have no guarantee they'll work that way under lights, with a crowd, with a tractor going, an announcer, I mean, with all the different variables. That's what makes cutting so appealing and so hard to control are the amount of variables. So I try to cut those variables down and I take them to all these events and I lope them, I sit on them. Uh, I, just, I just spend quality time with each one of them. And what I concentrate more on now is trying to make them be smart about a cow, especially in show situations, which, you know, that's where these pre-works like this are good. We get to get those horses in a, in a show situation. You know, it's not the same, but it's as close as we can do without going to a show. And then when you go work them, you know, making sure they understand that, you know, even though this is a new place, it's a different setting than what they're used to, they still have to do their job. Well, these pre-works are essential in preparing a colt for the bright lights of the maturity. However, there is always some suspense in how a young fraternity horse will perform in Fort Worth. I hear that story, but you'll never know. You never know till you get there. Well, some of that's true, but I don't want to live like that. I want to know. You aren't going to be able to control the situation when you get there and something silly might happen. That happens. I still don't, that doesn't come under the category of not knowing. I think you sure want to know 30 days what you got. You might end up with him a little better if you do a good job, but you want to know what you got. But you all sit around and you see other, you know, see everyone's horses and you see what you got to compete against. And the best thing about that is, is not letting that bother you if someone's got a better one. You know, because a lot of times you'll see, oh, well, you're looking over the fence there and he's a, he's a bit better than mine. And uh, a lot of times you'll ruin yours because of that. And you might have had one, you know, as good or, but I think yeah, we've all learnt to uh, train the horses we have, do the best we can. And the horses peak, some horses are show horses, some horses aren't show horses. Some horses like that, the bright lights, it's just fact. You know, we've all had one here or there that just perform better underneath them conditions. And they're the ones you really want. All we do is, we try to do our job. And that's get our horses trained and uh, Go show them. I mean, we don't worry about if somebody has a better horse than us or they have to look better that day. Um, we just try to do our job. And our job is to get a horse trained and get them ready and go show them at the fraternity. And, and the fraternity, there's 20 horses that could win it. Just who happens to cut the right cows that night with no, the, the grand stands are full of people and they're giving all the money out. As a competitor going down to the fraternity, uh, you know, it, it is the, uh, the, the most high and the most low, probably, of the, of the horse industry, cutting horse industry. It's a high. You want to go in there and you want those horses to look good. Uh, you know, many times you're trying to, uh, you're advertising for yourself to, to get uh, future horses, maybe from the yearlings. You know, you just, no matter how much you prepare and how much work you do when it comes down to getting them in that coliseum for the first time and that first run, you never know what's going to happen. And I think that's, you know, that's the mistake about the futurity. I mean, that's what I think about. That's what I worry about is, is you know, is this horse going to go show the way I've prepared him to? And, and once you get past that first go round, you know, a lot of that kind of leaves. And, you know, then it's easier to go to focusing on, you know, I know he's going to cut. Let's just keep him fine tuned. and. And, and try to go on and build confidence each run. You know, it's always fun to find out how good of a horse you have. That's the mystique of the fraternity. You know, who comes out, what horse, you know, all of a sudden just shines. You know, no, you don't know. There's all the talk and who's got the best horse, but you just, you don't know. Ah, uh, the suspense of the fraternity. But as John Mitchell said earlier, you do have an idea of what you've got. We cornered these same trainers and asked them, what horses had a real shot at winning this year's maturity? 
I think I got two real nice horses. Um, I got two smart aristocrats and uh, both of them are out of Playboy mares. I have uh, a, a roan mare who's by Freckles Playboy out of a mare that I used to own named Peekaboon that, uh, that I sold a couple years ago to Gail Home. And she's, she does everything she, that I would want a futurity horse to do, put it that way. The two mares that I'm going to show, uh, one is a dual pep out of Tafalina, uh, and then the other one is a uh, smart little Lena out of Playboy's Ruby. And uh, of course, Tafalina and Playboy's Ruby were two mares that, uh, that were just, uh, you know, just fabulous mares for us. Um, we hope that these mares will go on to replace their mothers. I'm going to choose between uh, either two dual pep mares and one CD mare. The one dual pep mare's got, a, we just took a chip out of its ankle that we've had. She's been off. We just found it, so I'm not sure, but it's probably going to be between a dual pet mare and a CD mare and another dual pet mare. We'll see how it kind of goes. You know, there'll be there'll be a bunch of horses that are good enough to win the futurity, and uh, but but I, I've got some nice horses. But you know, I, I never feel comfortable. I I've never had one yet that I liked everything about. Well, Chubby, it just doesn't matter how many pre works you do, does it? Well. Shelly, it all comes down to what happens in historic Will Rogers Coliseum.